lots of clouds today. At least there's no rain, I suppose. And what did I read today? How about this first one? Apparently, there's some, I guess, army drones being flown in Japan. It says, British army drones flown for the first time in Japan. British army drones have been flown for the first time in Japan where they directed mortar fire during live firing training. Exercise Vigilant IL-23 was delivered by the Japanese 1st Airborne Brigade with British Army units from 1 Royal Gurkha Rifles, 16 Air Assault Brigade and 3 Scots taking part. 16 Air Assault Brigade's intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance groups used the exercise to test and refine the capabilities of its uncrewed aircraft system or drone. Under the umbrella of 16 Air Assault Brigade, ISTAR, 9 troops from 21 Air Assault Battery, 32 Regiment Royal Artillery launched a Puma UAS while working with a 1RGR Mortar Platoon. What's with all these testing, huh? Are they going to war or something? It says, in this terrain, we have provided normal camera footage as well as infrared footage, which means we have been able to fly during the day and night. There is software within the system that enables us to take a still or artillery rounds landing on the ground. We can then plot where the round has landed and where we are trying to hit, and the system will generate adjustments to ensure the accuracy of guns or mortars. The density altitude here has been a particular challenge for the Puma. It reduces the height we can fly at, the air is less dense, the higher you go, and the hotter it gets. So I would imagine, kind of like what they're implying, it's a good testing condition for when they want to actually use it, I guess, in a real scenario, but it makes you wonder what the heck is going on. And in terms of recreational drones, a lot of places, they're just treating every single drone as if it's a military drone. How about this one though? This one says, Christmas warning. FAA warns drones are not toys, they're aircrafts. And it's that thing again, huh? It says the Federal Aviation Administration is warning people that their new Christmas present may come with more responsibilities than they thought. The FAA is starting its 12 Days of Drones Outreach program to help explain to people that drones are actually regulated aircraft, not toys, saying, quote, you bought this really cool thing, there are some rules for that, Kevin Morris from the FAA said, and there's some really good reasons for those rules. What exactly are those reasons? It says the rules are about where you can fly a drone, there are rules about what equipment you need to have to fly them, and even rules about how you use your drone. And again, with all this talk about good reasons why there are rules, they don't really dive into it too much. They just talk about, again, making sure you follow these rules, have things, for example, like the required license by going through their testing system, and it says, quote, we really don't want to make that first flight your last flight, Morris said. Now, apparently they also released this campaign of sort. It says 12 days of drone safety, and they're telling you everything, for example, having to pass a test, making sure you get remote ID and all that. Although it's that phrase again, even from their videos and stuff saying, drones, they're not a toy. How can people go with this broad generalization? There's just so many different things that fall under the category of a quote drone nowadays. It's almost like saying, for example, look at this toy. This is literally a toy here. Are you saying this is not a cool toy? This is an aircraft. How ridiculous is this? I'm just surprised when people just go with this. It's like there's no critical thinking or anything. It's just, okay, they say this is like a big weapon or something like that. It's extremely dangerous. Let's follow it. Don't people say anything? Like a whole bunch of stuff? It's kind of crazy. There's just too much, in my opinion, again, conflict of interest. There's money to be made. With all this, I guess, testing and registration and stuff like that. Can you imagine, for example, like if this wasn't even like to say a drone per se, any other toy you could think of. It just makes me think again, I agree with those people when they mock others, where they say, we have this great $2,000, $5,000 course to teach you how to fly a drone. And they say, for example, oh, you do, huh? I got a $1,000 course to teach you how to use a microwave. That is so true in my opinion, when it comes to like toys and stuff like that. And I was reading this today where apparently some kind of video got leaked where the CEO of IBM was discriminating against people when it comes to hiring practices. And this one, it says specifically with Asian people. So what was going on here? This one says the CEO of IBM, Arvind Krishna, who discriminated against Asians in the hiring process and promised to deny bonuses to executives who failed to meet illegal race criteria, 
sits on the board of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York and North Grundman. So this guy have like a lot of power, I guess. And it's apparently with this video here where it looked like it's an internal company meeting and they're talking about how they need to make these quotas in terms of their hiring practices, have a certain level of diversity and all that. But he apparently makes one specific comment that actually generated, I guess, a lot of the controversy. It says here, IBM chief Arvind Krishna says he will fire, demote, or strip bonuses from execs who don't hire enough blacks, Hispanics, or hire too many Asians. And his actual quote, according to the video, says, Asians are not an underrepresented minority in tech in America. I'm not going to finesse this. For blacks, we should try to get towards 13%, says Krishna. And you can see, for example, when he says that, the other executives or whatever, that's who those people are, they're kind of like agreeing with this. Like, wow, that's kind of crazy, especially to have this leaked out. So we take underrepresented and gender. You got to move both forward by a percentage. That leads to a plus on your bonus. By the way, if you lose, you lose part of your bonus. I'm not trying to finesse this. So for blacks, we should try to get towards 13 point something percent. On Hispanics, you got to get into the mid-teens. So let me say it, Asians in the US are not an underrepresented minority in a tech company. And it was older anyways, back in 2021, but the reason why this is really fascinating too is because I wouldn't doubt if you look during recent times, there's lots of companies who condemn, for example, things like discrimination and all that, saying, oh, we won't do business with this or that because they're so into diversity and so forth. But then you read stuff like this, like what does that show you? It makes me think too, because many times when it comes to these types of scenarios where companies hire only because they want to meet a quota of sort, a lot of times people are just brought in, let's just say in this example, as a quote, token Asian or something like that. They don't really don't really get the same opportunities as everyone else. They're more for show to tell the public, hey, look, we're diverse and all that. We're colorblind, but in reality, again, it's more to meet a quota. The same types of people will still, let's just say, get ahead or something like that based on certain favoritisms, just like anything else in life. It doesn't really fix anything in the long run, but this is kind of crazy too. <laughs> Saying, oh, I'm Asian. I guess that's a stereotype, right? They're always into tech and so forth. There's so many of them, they're not the minority here. And this also makes me think of that topic in general. It doesn't matter what the topic is, even with things, for example, like drones and all that with the regulations, you have a lot of people who you would think are quote on your side and all that. Like, hey, there's no way they would be like that. I mean, look what they're doing. They're promoting this and that, where in reality, they are just as bad. It's more about, in my opinion, them pushing their own I guess agenda per se, making more money, whatever it may be. So you have to judge everything based on the facts. What would you think about this? I would think the only thing that company could do is to let this guy go. I don't see how they can get out of this, I guess, PR wise, it's a complete disaster having stuff like this come out.
Alright, see you guys later.